Hello everyone, it's Queen Bee Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to the Supreme Court rulings of spring summer 2022 before they resume hearings and verdicts with now confirmed Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. So let's get into Scored it. this in a five to four ruling established that the Biden Harris administration could stop the remain in mexico policy which was established in 2019 also known as the migrant protection protocols mpp which curbs immigration from central american countries this policy however is not related to the current title 42 policy which was established in 2020 which removes immigrants expeditiously without an effective trial now this policy was upheld back in may by a trump appointee federal judge so the biden harris administration still cannot remove title 42. this is why voting is important and speaking of biden harris in 2021, VP Harris launched a program called Call to Action, which invested an estimated $310 million into the Northern Triangle countries, which includes Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. This program helped these countries with food security, financial inclusion, education and health care by the end of that same year 2021 the program had an investment of approximately you guessed it 1.2 billion dollars that's right vp harris ensured that businesses from pepsi mastercard invested into these countries that way they won't have to make the unfortunate decision of handing over their lives to a coyote who may or may not let them see the united states let's also not forget that there are many migrants who make the journey and never cross the border another critical scotus ruling is the e PA having limited authority over power plants which has gas emissions of existing power plants chief R roberts wrote in his opinion citing capping carbon dioxide emissions at a level will force a nationwide transition away from the use of coal to generate electricity may be a sensible solution to the crisis of the day but is not possible that congress gave epa the authority to adapt it's bad enough that we are fighting climate change the Biden-Harris administration last year re-entered the Paris Treaty and for the Supreme Court to limit the EPA's authority means that the carbon being circulated will affect your children and my children currently and for the future. So anytime your child has asthma, gets sick, remember this moment because voting is critical. And finally, SCOTUS overturns the Sixth Amendment. The Sixth Amendment was silently stripped a few weeks ago. What is the Sixth Amendment right? I'm glad you asked. The Sixth Amendment entails the right to a trial, the right to a jury, and the right to efficient counsel. Now, with this being stripped, it ties into the previous video I did of the 
Supreme Court, which entails our Miranda rights. This means if your attorney does not do sufficient work, the verdict that your case entails, it stands. Which means that if an officer does not read you your Miranda rights, you cannot in tow sue that officer for not doing their due diligence. I need us to understand how serious this is. Please make no mistakes. These laws will affect us in one way, shape, or form. Do not forget, there are 48 Democrats in the Senate and 222 Democrats in the House. If we want true change, we have to expand at both in Congress and on state levels. This is not the time to withhold vote because the guardians of Putin, the GQPs, the GIPs are gearing up to demolish democracy as we know. Please do not be fooled. Elections matter. Elections have consequences. Remember, when they came for me, no one was left to speak for me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.